hanging out live here with Alessia Cara, who's performing tonight. What's up? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. So the million dollar question is how are you doing? Because uh, you told me you're nervous. I don't want to put you on the spot. But you've done this a million times. You're nervous to perform? I, I still get nervous every time. I mean, like, when we did rehearsals, you know, they have the cards of who's going to be sitting where. And seeing all these people I look up to, like Jennifer Aniston's right there and Robert Downey Jr. and all these, like, crazy, like, legends. And I'm just performing up there. I'm so nervous. I'm very scared. I mean, Pink is right there, too. Like, people I've looked up to. So very nerve-wracking, but exciting. Does that happen during your concerts where you're looking and kind of painting the audience for celebrities or people you know, or is that only if you do an award show? It's usually for award shows. I mean, I still get nervous to do my own shows too, but I think there's something different about seeing your fans and your people there. It's totally different, but yeah, it's not as nerve-wracking. <laughs> your voice is just insane. My wife and I have been listening all week to just a bunch of your songs. Who can we credit for discovering you? We gotta shout that person out. Is there one person in particular? Um, I guess it was a few people that were sort of responsible for helping me out, of course. It always takes a village, but um, this um, person named Corinne Perez, who works with EP Entertainment, she was the one who found my video on YouTube. So she was the first the first person to like start it all. And then um, my manager, Chris Smith, is amazing. And my label, Def Jam. There's like, so many people that, you know, helped me out along the way. How long ago was that? That was, I was about 16 years old. I'm 23 now, so a while ago. <laughs> 23 years old, you're still touring, you have about five shows left. Yes. Is it bittersweet when you only have a few shows left or are you going to enjoy this break? Um, I think a bit of both. I think a break is definitely needed. I've been touring for like seven months straight now, but at the same time, I don't know, there's something about like being used to touring so much that when you're at home, or for me, I'm like, okay, I need to get back out again. I just feel like I'm, yeah. I always need to be working, you know? You're grinding. Yeah, exactly. All right, before you go, you go on Fallon, you do some impressions, the Cardi B, Ariana. It takes on a life of its own. But you are you still think you're not good at impressions, but I'm sure everybody's bothering you to do a bunch of impressions. Yeah, like, people keep asking me to do them. I don't hear it. I guess maybe because it's me. I don't think I sound like them, but they keep asking me to do them, and so I'm like, okay. But they seem to have taken, you know, a life of their own in a weird way online. It's like a weird thing now. <laughs> it's become a thing. I'm gonna do you a solid. I won't make you do any impressions on live TV because you gotta prep. You're you're exactly. getting ready to perform, okay? But if I have to see Cardi B or someone, you know, you never know. So I don't want. Could be horrible, right? Could be horrible. I don't want them to think I'm bad. <laughs> Alessia, great to see you. Looking forward to seeing you inside tonight, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.